EPA has handed down new regulations requiring total carbon emissions by the United States be reduced by a third. It's a move that's been praised by conservationists, but power companies aren't sure what it means for our power supply. Jake Melder is live in studio with more. In Idaho, we draw power from several sources, and some of them create carbon emissions. So as state officials figure out their next step, the looming concern is, will we feel the hit in our wallets? Power rates in Idaho are some of the cheapest in the country. That's in part because the bulk of our energy is produced in hydroelectric dams. But two natural gas factories are under the gun for reducing emissions to comply with the president's goal of an overall 32 percent reduction. We're already seeing uh, climate changing in Idaho from carbon pollution. And this rule is really the first time the country's controlled carbon pollution from the power sector. It's a really important step forward. But that step forward is on unsure footing for Idaho Power, which was surprised with the final rule. It's quite a bit different than the proposed rule that came out 14 months ago. Um, so it's going to take quite a while for us to go through it to understand the nuances of the new rate and the calculations and so forth. It's going to take us a while to go through that to determine actually what will the impact be to Idaho or to Idaho Power. A brief from the White House regarding Idaho's obligations shows that they are minimal compared to other states, a 14 percent reduction from the natural gas plants. Idaho is going to have no problem meeting these impacts. Uh, the more interesting thing is what do we do about that power that we're importing from our neighbors? And what do we do about their plants? More than a third of Idaho's power comes from coal plants out of state. It's part of a web of energy sources that Idaho Power uses to create reliable and relatively inexpensive electricity for your home. Any changes to that type of dispatching or is how we're going to you know, allocate the generation? Any type of shift like that could have a potential you know, negative impact to the customers in, as far as rates. State officials will have the next three years to figure out how to move forward. The reduction is scheduled to take place in two phases at uh, 2022 and 2030.